The average sensitivity among all pros in CS2 is exactly 862.88 effective DPI. How I would know and how this might help you reaffirm your very own sensitivity will be covered in the next few minutes. When it comes to finding a good mouse sensitivity in any competitive game, the active pro scene is usually your first point of reference. In CS2, the only up-to-date publicly available pointer is the median sensitivity of all current pros, free agents and content creators on prosettings.net, which doesn't provide a whole lot of insight into the most popular sensitivities among pros and other interesting stats we can derive from it. So, since I was recently second-guessing my own sensitivity and wanted to get some inspiration from the pros myself, I decided to build a small dataset based on the data of prosettings.net to get a second opinion on how far my own sensitivity is off from what the pros tend to gravitate towards. First of all, to get the data from prosettings.net into a dataset we can actually do some stuff with locally, I did a bit of programming to copy everything from the website into my own little CSV file in order to skip writing down everything by hand, which would have most likely left me heavily burned out anyways. After the dataset was ready, I naturally went on to simply calculate the average and median sensitivities of all entries, since this is exactly what I'm looking for, right? Well, kind of yes, but actually no. No it isn't. You see, for one, the dataset also features current free agents and content creators, which and I'm sorry to put it that way, they are simply of no interest to me, while removing the respective entries already ended up slightly lowering the average effective DPI to 849.14, the results still weren't what I was looking for. Like, yeah okay, my sensitivity is faster than the average of the pros, and it's not the median sensitivity either, but how far am I actually off now? To visualize this kind of question, we have to create a good old box plot from the same dataset which is now telling us in which area 50% of all sensitivities are placed and how many sensitivities are heavy outliers and thereby skewing the average. What we can see here is some heavy outliers towards the upper end, which prompted me to pre-process the used dataset to only take the 975 th percentile into consideration, or in other words, the range of values where approximately 95% of sensitivities are falling into. So basically just another box of a much larger box plot. And this made the results a lot more digestible. 50% of all pro sensitivities are between 688.5 and 960 effective DPI. So with my own sensitivity of 1000 eDPI, I am well off the average, the median, and well outside the area of most used sensitivities, which felt rather weird to me since I knew, for instance, Donk is playing on 1000 ETPI as well, and therefore assumed that there would be a lot of players trying to copy him. In an effort to come to a better conclusion, I finally plotted the 12 most common sensitivities, and interestingly enough, even though most sensitivities fall into the 688.5 to 960 range, 1000 ETPI is still the fourth most popular value with 800, 880 and 720 effective DPI being the top 3. In the end, what we can take away from this little adventure is that any sensitivity higher than 560 and lower than 1000 effective DPI are the most frequently used ones, where 800 eDPI seems to be the overall sweet spot. Players coming from higher sensitivities seem to stick with 960 and 1000 eDPI respectively, while for lower sensitivities, there is a more even distribution and no apparent hotspots. So my guess on why 720, 800 and 880 eDPI are the most common values is most likely that most pros use 800 DPI and a sensitivity S1 as their baseline and then simply adjust it by 0.1 to make it slightly faster or slightly slower, which leads us to the aforementioned 720 and 880 effective DPI since 800 times 0.1 is exactly equal to 80 effective DPI, more or less in our case. For lower sensitivities, this is much more evenly spread out, since below 720 effective DPI, most players set their mouse to 400 DPI instead of the commonly used 800 above. And following the same logic, each step would now be equal to 40 effective DPI, more or less, and therefore a much more even distribution. And finally, even in 2025, 400 DPI is by far the most common DPI setting 
with around 55% of pros using it. 800 DPI is a somewhat close second with a usage of 38%. And lastly, the third most common DPI value is 1.6k, but at this point you might as well play any other non-standard DPI value. If you're interested in how you can find your own ideal sensitivity independently of the dataset I just presented, I've made an entire video about it, which is linked in the video description below. You can also join my Discord server to connect with like-minded people, where we'll have a bot allowing you to create CS2 lobbies for Premiere and Faceit, or join existing lobbies based on your own ELO and region somewhere in the near future. If you did enjoy this video, you can leave a like, or subscribe to my channel for more CS content, or click on the video to your right, YouTube things you're likely to enjoy as well. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!